In our previous episode, we went on a camping adventure in a place called Bago City, tagged as the home of historical and natural treasures in the province of Negros Occidental. In that episode, we did some river trekking, chased waterfalls, had some time to enjoy the river waters, which was super amazing, got a chance to see this beautiful view of the rice terraces while doing a hike down the river, and met a bunch of amazing people. It was a really great adventure. If you are new to the Unplug Life channel, we make camping and adventure videos based in the Philippines. Right now, we are on a journey to showcase different campsites in Negros Occidental. In this episode, we went to a new campsite up in the mountains located in San Fernando Talisay City and we're gonna take you with us there. Join us in this episode as we unplug, witness beautiful sceneries, do a little bit of outdoor cooking, and we'll also have a little fun campsite review at the end of the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Enjoying the journey of the Unplug Life family. Another vlog, another camp. Today we are here in Balai Gawahan. Alright, before anything else, I would just like to say that we have been invited here by Balai Gawahan or Gawahan. We think it was really thoughtful of them to prepare some snacks for us in the afternoon, although we didn't really ask for it. And they even prepared a basket full of trees, and we are so happy about it. But wait up, before that, let me show you a glimpse of the A-frame accommodation so that you will have an idea of how it looks like inside. And also, there's going to be more at the end of the video. So you might be wondering, are we going to sleep here? Well, we brought our tent. We're going to show you that in a bit. Our tent is here. So we will cook our dinner in this area later. Hello, once again. People <laughs> in the Philippines. Look at this beautiful view.
Ask me something, step two Get some good, some food in you Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So we already packed up our things. Morning. Hey. This is our breakfast, which was prepared by Mom Ellie. Rabinka, Ibos, on this side, it's very Filipino, guys. On this side, we also have some coffee, Milo. Lord, we thank you for this food for this day, and thank you for the blessings. Bless the person who prepared this food for us. Let this food nourish our body and mind. So, we can play. So we just finished eating our breakfast and now we're gonna give you a quick tour here around the campsite. We're going to start from here. <laughs> Let's go! Over this part, you're gonna find all the selfie Instagrammable spots. And so you don't have to pay additional fee if you want to take a picture there. Actually, come here guys. from that area down to this area right here okay, so this is where we had our morning coffee earlier there's still gonna be a lot more improvements to come uh, to cater all of those people who want to come and visit or those campers who wanna you know have a camping experience here like us did you have a great time last night of course yeah. I sleep well this is actually a pretty good place. There's a view of the sea, mm -hmm. the view of the mountain, the greenery. It's amazing here, you guys. Oh so, yeah, we're gonna go over where we're where are we gonna go next? The bathroom. Yeah, let's go there. There's also a lot of bathrooms here, and you're never gonna miss out. <laughs> so they have really good water system, really clean toilets, and spring water. Toilets here. Another blue. Yeah. The bathroom here and the sink. It's exclusive for these cottages right here. 
Yeah. So you can stay in this cottage for only 1,500 peso. And that's an ultimate deal. <laughs> yeah, let's go on that part and check it. Yeah, look under the cottage. Yeah, you can sleep here. Actually, there was someone who was sleeping here last night. They have yeah. their own hammock. Let's go upstairs, check out what's here. Oh, it's already locked though. Oh, the other yeah. side. Someone is breaking in. <laughs> this is what you get with Ooh, 1,500 peso that you're gonna be paying. Have this table for yourself here. Some veranda right here. Have a light right there. And whoa! Oh, there's a light switch in here. Two beddings there. Open it also. Allow the air to come in. And it's also very comfortable because it's an air bed and the ventilation is great. Not saying this just because we got the chance to stay here. You guys know that we are very honest. Yeah, we're very honest you guys and we're gonna tell you if we don't like something. I'm actually pretty energetic right now because I just had coffee. <laughs> By the way, you also get to have this place where you can chit chat, put your meals there. Coffee, breakfast. Yeah cook here so we have a fire pit our banana beds mm -hmm. you yeah. can put air inside you can put some air whoop and then ta -da. there's another hammock here there was like a disco ball here no that, that one oh, the other one. there's another fire pit here it's good for 94 gnomes <laughs> There's this disco ball! <laughs> Dude, I was like, I wanna dance, man! <laughs> it's so fun! They have a hammock here, so you can just, you know, lie down here, think about... Think about Why is it in your head? How do we party in the mountains? Yeah, you can actually get this only for 1,200 pesos and you have have all this for yourself you can actually bring your own tent too and pitch it right here in the same spot where we pitch our tent mm. so you have a personal sink and then you have this toilet mm. oh i want to show you guys cool. something really cool and so this is the bathroom we've already used it but this this is so cool <laughs> i cannot get over this I really like that though so you have a bidet with you. I mean, who does that? <laughs> Middle of the mountains, camping, and you have a bidet. How cool is that? So I'm already here. Right. Yeah, you have this tarp over your head and you won't worry if it rains. This is an area where you can just talk, deep talks with your friend. Just looking at all those greenery. I mean, for 1,200 peso, this view, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. It's amazing, I'm telling you. So now let's go inside. Okay, so try to look at some for the mosquitoes, mosquitoes, insects. We have some sockets here if you want to charge your stuff. Cute details like the hats on the wall. You can't get it, it's already nailed it. Yeah, it's nailed. Don't ever think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just talk about the details for a moment? I like the rattan vibe. Like we have this uh, panig. That, that's how we call it in our dialect. No, it's just, you know. It's well ventilated. The air just passes through. Back and forth. Where did you sleep last night? In the tent or here? Um. Secret. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? I will give you 10 seconds to leave your <laughs> comments below. <laughs> So, before you proceed, pause this for a while, hit the like button, and subscribe, and do your thing. <laughs> I think it's worth it. Would you say too? Yeah. Yeah, you agree with me? It's not really expensive. It's affordable. Owners accommodating, very generous, not only to us just because we're vloggers, but also to the people who yeah. are here, who were here last night, Her who too. are working here, and also the owner doesn't know this, but prior to going here, we called her. We asked some stuff about the parking, about, you know, the safety of the place. And the owner answered well. It's really good to have these kinds of owners, you know, when it comes to accommodations or like camping sites like this, you know. You just feel like you're welcome. That's really one of the things that we 
look into when we are considering our campsites. Not just for camping, but also for, you know, if you guys want to just unwind without sleeping in a tent. By the way, if you guys want to pitch a tent here, how much was it? 150 per head. Yeah, 150 per person. Yeah. yeah. Soon, they're going to open the weekend restaurant, right? Mm-hmm. If you guys are considering this place as your next campsite, make sure to bring some food with you because I'm not sure as of the moment if they are actually I don't think so. I don't have a restaurant yet. Yeah, the restaurant is not yet operational, but maybe, who knows, after this, there will be like meals that you guys can order. Full day breakfast will be. Yeah. Woke up at 5.30 in the morning today just to see the sunrise and it rose from that side. Mm. <laughs> what else did we miss? Let's go to that side. The resto? Yeah, that, no, the, the stairs. Down. There are bamboos here. You can do your work here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then drink some coffee, work, look at the view. <laughs> work, work some more, and then look at the view. <laughs> uh, if you feel stressed, look at the view. If you feel stressed, just look at the <laughs> Drink more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and work, work again. again. <laughs> You can sit here with your office mates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll all do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> work, stress, and look at the view and coffee. But in all seriousness, you can actually work here, just in the spot because there's LTE. Signal here is not so bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, compared to the other campsites we've been to, you can post stuff on Facebook, buy some things on Shopee. <laughs> Shopping here, imagine. <laughs> Online. Amazing! And also on that part, I don't know how to get there, but... <laughs> Maybe you need to Maybe have there's a... there's like a zip line. <laughs> <laughs> Hike there, this area, go there. Yeah, this is well unfinished yet, so... Maybe soon, we're gonna update you in the future. Mm -hmm. So... Go ahead. It's also like this area here, behind the working area I was yeah. telling you guys it's still a working area yeah you guys can have like your meeting here small group whatever you want to do <laughs> here this is still unfinished but this is like the kitchen counter mm -hmm. now let's go check out the cool thing I'm telling you guys how many tilapias are here? 1,300 baby tilapias really? yeah are you to be yes. Mm. Yeah, so this is their pond. They're cleaning it. What's this? Solar panel filter. It's a filter? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, there. Can you see the baby tilap? Yes. <laughs> They're so small. Little babies. There's a lot of them. It's a school of. At this point, they're basically just as useless as. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that tilapias are useless, but they're just so tiny. Mm -hmm. As of the moment that you can not edible. fish them, you can eat them. You just watch them grow into amazing adults <laughs> in the future. <laughs> hey baby, it's your mama. <laughs> like the original plan was for the owners to just have a rest house here. Yeah, it's already open now, but they have plans of Putting some swimming pools up there. A little infinity pool overlooking the view. Yeah, there's also rabbits over there. We used to have a lot of rabbits too. They all died because of pandemic. They all died. We have come to the end of this episode and we would like to say thank you for camping with us. Next week, I will be doing a solo camping challenge. So make sure you won't miss that episode by clicking the subscribe button. And we will see you on the next episode. Happy camping, adventure seekers!